Hey guys, welcome back to another I Love Kickboxing.com at home workout with me, John. Let's get it started. Light jog in place in three, two, and one. Light jog it out, light jog it out, light jog it out. Usually say light jog in place because primarily you guys probably working out at home, but if you're out and about, maybe you're at a track or somewhere so you can run and maybe you just want to just follow along. Uh, you can as well. It's entirely up to you. This is your workout, this is your time. Keep going with that light jog. Just feel your heart rate come up nice and easy. We're gonna be going into our standard high knees in three, two, and one. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. You can slow it down, but I want you to pick those knees up. If you notice I put my palms out in front of me to keep those high knees honest. Okay, you wanna bring them to about waist level. We're gonna go ahead and slow it down, but keep it moving with those butt kickers in three, two, one. Let's go, this time you're leaning forward ever so slightly, kicking up and back, up and back. So loose and light, keep on working those butt kickers. Everybody, a few more seconds. We're going back to our jog in place. In three, in two, and one. Jog it out, jog it out, jog it out. And it's all about managing your pace, everyone. So keep on going with your light jog in place. We're gonna go ahead and do that high knee into the butt kicker set again. Let's get ready to pick those knees up in three, two, and one. Right back to your high knees, folks, again. So you can slow it down, but pick those knees up just even if it's a little bit higher than you, they were when you were jogging. All right, folks, here we are. Keep going with those high knees. We're gonna go ahead and transition right into those butt kickers in three, two, one. Let's go ahead and go right into your butt kickers. Folks, good job. All right, so you can keep it moving for about 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna speed things on up. So manage it, guys. Okay, we're gonna be going into something really, really fast, the fast feet. Keep going with those butt kickers, all right? Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Five more seconds here. Let's go ahead and fast feet in three, two, one. Heels up and off your floors. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. We're going quick here. We're gonna be slowing it down in about eight seconds with our standard squats. So continue to go fast feet. Move those feet as fast as you can and slow it down and squat it out in three, two, and one. Standard squats, all right, folks? Get in those thighs parallel. Slow it down, catch your breath. All right, folks, here we are. Good job. So just nice and easy with your standard squats. Okay, now note about that fast feet. Perhaps sometimes you need some visualization. Okay, if you're walking on a hot sand at the beach and maybe you're not wearing your flip flops, okay, or foot protection, that's what it should be looking like. Okay, like you're walking on a hot sand. Keep going, however, with those standard squats for just about a few more seconds and turn it to the jump squat in three, two, one. Bend those knees as you land. Okay, y'all, I'm not looking for height. I'm just looking for some standard, standard jump squats, okay? Just try a little bit. If it is um, causing you knee pain, you can always substitute it with something easier. You can continue to squat. You can work a sumo squat, a prisoner squat, something you know that doesn't cause you as much pain. But hopefully you guys are building that strength Let's go ahead and just give you 15 seconds of jumping jacks in three, two, one. Jumping jack it out. Swing your arms, swing those legs nice and easy for about 10 more seconds. And then we're going to slow it down. Okay, we're going to go into our reverse lunges in three, in two, and one. Stepping backwards and up, then backwards and up. Slow and gentle. Work those reverse lunges, everyone. All right? Great job. So slow and steady. You got about 15 more seconds to work those reverse lunges, and then we're gonna go and get from the top. Okay, we're gonna go ahead right back into your fast feet in about 10 more seconds. So remember the analogy that I gave you all about walking on hot sand? Let's get to it in three, two, one. Fast feet time, fast feet time, fast feet time. There we go. About 10 seconds remaining for your fast feet. Then you'll be slowing it down in just a bit with your standard squats one more time. All right, five more seconds. Let's go ahead, squat it on out in three, two, one. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> there we go, guys. Again, keep those thighs though parallel to your floor. Just slow and steady. Take those nice deep breaths, reoxygenate yourselves, everyone, with your standard squats. All right, folks, here we go. 15 more seconds remaining for these standard squats, and then you're gonna add that jump to it. Right? Add that explosion once more. If the jump squats are problematic, just substitute it for an exercise or a squat variation that's good for you all right folks let's go ahead jump squat in three two and one remember though if you're working those jump squats bend your knees as you land to help absorb the shock of the landing 
all right? So everybody's working those jump squats for about 15 more seconds. Come on, continue to work your jump squats. Maybe, perhaps, if you're not having a knee issue, maybe get a little bit more explosiveness, jump a little bit higher if you can. Go for it, test yourselves, all right? Let's get ready, though, however, to go ahead and slow it down with your jumping jacks in three, two, and one. Work those jumping jacks now. That's it, nice and simple. All right, guys, keep going those regular jumping jacks. We'll be slowing it down in five seconds with your reverse lunges in three, in two, and one. Step it backwards and up, and backwards and up. Okay, that knee that is closest to your floors is not actually gonna touch. You wanna keep that tension in those leg muscles, so go slow and steady, but if it has to, just a very light touch. Don't slam it down. All right, y'all, keep on going with those reverse lunges. You got about 10 more seconds remaining. So again, slow and steady. Take your nice deep breaths in between as well. All right, folks, cuz we're coming up on our first set of burpees in three, two, and one standard burpees, up, down, out, in, and up. Be very careful to not let that lower back curve downwards as you jump out into that high palm plank. All right, y'all, standard burpees, up, down, out, in, and up, up, down, out, in, and up. Keep it going. Maybe try to go a little bit faster. I'm gonna let you guys take a nice, quick breath, a breather, if you will. Okay, you got five more seconds to burpee on out, and then a standard plank in three, two, and one, standard plank. Shoulder, elbows, wrist in line, shoulder, back, and hips in line. Engage your core, look forwards, keep your airways clear, and just kind of hang on out. Okay, 15 more seconds remaining. The world record for planking goes into the hours. I know, can you imagine that? You only have about 10 more seconds remaining to hold your plank, everyone, all right? Then we're gonna go from there into your Spider-Man push-ups, all right? That's gonna be happening in three, two, one. As you go down, bring your right knee out to the right elbow and left knee to the left. The modification will be one push-up and then two spider knees. You can do the push-up from your knees or you know, work a variation thereof. If you can stay on your toes the entire time, wonderful, all right? So Spider-Man push-ups, nice and gentle. Right knee comes out to the right side, left knee comes out to the left. You only have six more seconds remaining to do these guys. And then we have our one-handed mountain climbers. I'll show you that in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Left hand to right ankle, right hand to left, okay? Nice and gentle. If you can't reach the ankle, then go for the knees. Okay, left hand to right knee, right hand to left. You can work that as well. Momentarily, of course, when you're in that one hand, it might feel scary as the other hand is going for the opposite knee. But it's a challenge, y'all, okay? And what this does is allows you to work your balance and work your core a little bit tougher. So continue with those one-handed mountain climbers for just a few more seconds, a few more seconds here. And then we're gonna go ahead on your backs. We're gonna get into our ab set, y'all. It's the leg lift. In three, in two, and one. You get from the hollow hold position. Both legs go up, both legs go down. Both legs go up, both legs go down. Feet never, ever touch the floor. That's it, slow and steady. I like to sometimes even play with the speed. I like to lift my legs up real quick and then drop them down real slow like. All right, y'all, so you can work that, work your speed. Just don't let your feet touch your floors, okay? If you gotta take a breather, stay in the hollow hold before resuming. I find it's easier just to continue with that leg lift motion. Five more seconds though, you're gonna keep your legs straight up and reach for your toes. Toe touch in three, two, one, pulse, pulse, pulse. You're keeping your shoulder blades up and off your floors. Take a quick exhale as you reach up. Take a quick inhale on your way back down. All right, y'all, just try to reach for those toes. If you can touch your toes, wonderful. If not, just keep reaching for it. Okay, you're working those abs out here with those toe touches. Nice job, guys. Keep on working it here. We're gonna be pedaling out up next. Okay, next exercise, five seconds remaining, is the bicycle. So you're gonna be riding on out in three, in two, and when you're already on your backs, just get those legs horizontal, hands by the sides of your head. Right elbow points to the left knee, left elbow points to the right knee. You twist and turn, you kick it on out, you ride with me, guys. Pedal, 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 bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Nice job here, y'all. 10 more seconds remaining, and then I want y'all to flip it over onto your elbows. All right, y'all, it's gonna be an elbow plank. All right, folks? That's gonna be happening in three, in two, and one. So you were up on your arms before, now you're on your elbows. Just kinda of hang out here. Shoulders and elbows in line, shoulder back and hips in line. 
breathe and relax, all right? Okay, 15 more seconds remaining, and then we're gonna continue working our abs out. We're gonna do that little set over again one more time, all right, y'all? So let's get ready. Stay in that elbow plank. You're gonna be going into your leg lifts in three, in two, and one. Flip it on over, everybody. Start from that hollow hold position. Both legs go up, both legs go down. Heels do not touch your floors, okay? Getting slow and steady, whether you're going fast and furious or slow and controlled. Maybe some of you guys want to cover more ab area and are doing the more difficult version where you're picking up your hips at the top, just like I showed. You can do that as well. If you're willing and able, go for it. All right, guys, keep going. Five more seconds here for the leg lifts. Keep both legs up, reach for those toes, toe touches in three, two, and one. Keep both legs pointed up towards your ceilings, everyone, towards the sky. Keep those shoulder blades up and pulse, pulse, pulse. Reach for your toes, all right? Slow and steady, fast and furious. This is a little bit more difficult version of the standard crunch you all may know and love. So keep on working here. I love anything to work out the abs. I love all ab exercises, guys. So keep it going. Work those toe touches. A few more seconds. You're going to ride it on out. Pedal on out. Bicycle in three, in two, and one. Pedal it on out, y'all. Pedal, pedal. Put that pedal to the metal. Okay, again, elbow to opposite knee. Sometimes you may want to coast. If you're coasting, just point one elbow to the opposite knee for a few seconds and then switch. You can coast out that way as well. All right, but don't let your feet touch. Again, just like the leg lift. Try not to let your feet touch. We're using gravity to help work those abs out. A few more seconds remaining, everyone, before you flip it on over and then go ahead into your elbow plank. In three, in two, and one, elbow plank. Woof! Catch your breath. And just like the palm plank, the world record for the elbow plank can be counted in terms of hours. All right, you're only going for about 15 more seconds. So really engage your core. Don't let your lower back sag in any plank position, folks. Right now, you're in those elbows. You're holding it nice and tight. Don't worry, you're gonna shake it on out in just a bit. Okay, guys, you know what that means. My favorite shakeout exercise, the burpee, in three, two, and one. Standard burpees, y'all. Standard burpees. We're going back to that routine, that set, okay, that where we started off with our burpees. So standard burpee, up, down, out, in, and up. For those of you guys adding an element, maybe a push-up, a plank deck, a tuck jump, whatever it may be that you wanna add and spice up your burpee, Go for it. I'm not going to stop you guys, all right? Here we go. Less than 10 seconds remaining for those burpees. And then you're going to take a little breather in that high palm plank. All right, guys? So let's get ready. Get that last burpee in and plank it on out in three, two, and one plank. Okay, give me that nice solid plank there, folks, okay? So again, you're not letting that lower back sag. Don't let that lower back sag. Okay, whatever you do, don't let it sag. A few more seconds here. About 15, again, again. So we're not counting in hours. This is a fast workout. You only got about 10 more seconds to hold that plank before we're gonna go right once more into your last and final set of the Spider-Man push-up in three, two, one. Spider-Man push-up, let's go, y'all. Spider-Man push-up as you lower yourself down. Right knee comes out to the right side. Left knee comes out to the left, okay? Or work the modification. Give me the one push-up off the knee or the toe, and then the two spider knees. If you're doing the push-up from your knees, I'd like you to try perhaps a spider knee on your toe, but that's okay, we'll get there if you're not this there yet. You got 10 more seconds to try those Spider-Man push-ups though. So do your best folks before we go back once more into our one-handed, one-arm mountain climbers in three, two, and one. So let me show you again from the side, left hand to right ankle, right hand to left. Okay, again, it's not too fast or too slow. And again, if you can't reach your ankles, Go for the knees, okay, go for the kneecaps. All right, guys, so left to right, right to left, again. Slow and steady, okay, you got about 15 seconds remaining to work those one-handed mountain climbers. And then we're fast approaching the end of today's workout, y'all. I know, well, the warm-up at least, right? So keep on going with those one-handed mountain climbers, and we're gonna play a little game. One of my favorite games here at ILKB is the Fast Feet Burpee game, that's right. So finish up that last one handed. Come on to your feet, guys. Fast feet. And go back to your fast feet. Okay, guys? That's why I gave that analogy about walking on the hot sand. So when I yell burpee, you give me one burpee and then go back to your fast feet. If I yell two, you give me two, so forth and so on, etc., etc. All right, y'all? Burpee. Give me that one burpee, then back to the fast feet, back to the fast feet, back to the fast feet. Good, 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 good. Okay, remember, we're only doing this one time. We're only doing this one time, so keep it going, guys. Two burpees. Let's go. Two burpees. 
and then back to your fast feet, back to your fast feet, back to your fast feet, Joel. We're almost done. So keep on working on those fast feet. One burpee, let's go. One burpee, one burpee, just the one burpee, and then back to your fast feet. It's okay, they're moving a little bit slower now, maybe not going as fast as you were in the beginning. Just try to keep it moving as quickly as you can. And three burpees, let's go. Three regular burpees, y'all. Come on, one, two, three standard burpees, and back to your fast feet, back to your fast feet, back to your fast feet, y'all. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm only gonna ask for one more burpee, one more burpee, come on. One more burpee, back to the fast feet, back to the fast feet, back to the fast feet. Keep going with those fast feet for five, four, three, burpee, two, one, and done. All right, I had to throw that last burpee in there, guys. Don't hate. Okay, great job, each and every single one of you that completed and got through today's warm up. I'm thankful and blessed for all y'all tuning in. Okay, so. What you're gonna do now is hopefully wipe off the perspiration like I'm about to. Okay, you wanna go ahead and hydrate yourselves. You can go ahead and pause the video at this point in time and give yourself anywhere between five to seven minutes or so to stretch on out. You worked out pretty tough. Give your body that stretch it deserves. And when you come back, have your gloves on and be in your fight guard stance, ready to rock and roll. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. So today, focus, woo! Super times, that's right y'all. We're gonna be working Superman or the Superwoman punch, however you wanna call it. It's a super punch. It's preceded by a right knee. I'll tell you all that now. But we'll get into the intricacies of the super punch after we set it off first, of course, with our jab cross round. So everybody in your fight guard stance, hands are up. We're gonna begin round number one with jab and cross. In three, two, and one. Jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, and reset. One, two, and back. One, two, and back. One, two, and back. Jab, cross, reset. Just get those arms nice and loose. Okay, y'all, for the remainder of your kickboxing rounds today. Okay, keep it at a nice shoulder height. Work your pivots. Jab, cross, and back. Jab, cross, and back. Jab, and cross, y'all. Okay, here we go. Keep it moving. Jab, cross, reset. Jab, cross, reset. All right, y'all, 30 seconds down in the round. And again, I'm gonna invite each and every single one of you to hopefully take up the challenge of doing the exercises in between the round. All right, folks, so hopefully you get to do that today. Okay, you don't have to do all of them, but if you can get one or two or three or four in, Perfect. All right, y'all. Let's switch it up just a little bit. Give me a jab, cross, cross now. Jab, cross, cross, reset. Jab, cross, cross, and back. Jab, cross, reset that hand, and then give me that second cross. Jab, cross, cross, and back. Jab, cross, cross, and back. Jab into your double cross, y'all. Here we go. With just over 20 seconds remaining in the round. Okay, we're going to work a different set of exercises, some abs. We're going to work leg lifts and hollow holds. Um, today, folks, all right? So keep on working it here. When we get into the exercises, when I call out, that signals the end of the round, all right, folks? So keep on working your jab, cross, cross, jab, cross, cross, jab, cross, cross. You're gonna go ahead, lay down, leg lift time in three, two, and one. Here we go, y'all. Both legs go up, both legs go down. Feet never, ever touch, all right? That's it, go slow and steady here, folks. Give me those nice leg lifts, okay? Again, you don't have to. I'd like you all to hopefully join me in between the round with these challenging exercises because the rounds are shorter than our standard class times. But if you have to towel off, rehydrate, do what you gotta do. You got a couple of seconds remaining before we get into round number two. In three, in two, and one. Left hook, right up, left up, right hook, reset. Hook, up, up, hook, and back. All right guys, start with that left hook, work that pivot. Why don't you go with that right uppercut, into that left uppercut, and then finish with the right hook. Left hook, up, up, hook, and back. All right, over here, give me the different angle. Left hook, right uppercut, left uppercut, and then a right hook to finish it off. Hook, up, up, hook. Left, right, left, right is the rhythm I want y'all to adopt. It's all about getting into a rhythm, getting into a groove with the combination. You got about a minute remaining anyway, so you're gonna go left hook, right up, left up, right hook, reset, okay? Hook, up, up, hook, and back. All right, y'all, that's it. Just about halfway through the round. Left hook, right uppercut, left uppercut, right hook to finish it off. Hook, up, up, hook, and back. 
hook, up, up, hook, and back, y'all. All right, folks, keep going, keep moving. And again, if you have enough space in your workout area, feel free to work your footwork, you move around. You always wanna make sure, though, you kinda of come back to your fight guard stance. Hook up, up, hook, hook up, up, hook, hook up, up, hook. A few more seconds remaining, guys. I told you we're doing leg lifts and hollow holds, so the hollow hold is the next exercise in about 15 seconds. Still maintain that flow. Hook, up, up, hook, and reset. Hook, up, up, hook, and reset, y'all. Okay, get ready, guys, though, to lay it on down. Keep those legs straight out. Hollow hold time in three, in two, and one. Hollow hold. And that's the end of round number two, y'all. Okay, so great job there. We're going to get into round number three. We're going to incorporate a little leg work, but we're going to also incorporate that Superman punch. So a couple of things about Superman punch. Like I told you guys, it's usually preceded by the knee, the right knee. Okay, you use the right knee and you hop off your left foot. Okay, folks, let's get that started. So we'll get that going. Okay, start with the right knee. Kind of end like that, end like Superman, y'all. Five more seconds, though. We're going to get into the combination in three, two, and one. Jab, right hook, double left front kick, and then the super punch. Got that, guys? Okay, guys, so jab, right hook, double left front kick, then bring that right knee up and finish it with the super punch. Okay, you're hopping off that left foot. Again, you don't gotta go too high. I like to leap a little bit higher, but you don't have to, just a little tiny hop. Use the momentum, right knee comes up and you kick on out. All right, folks, so jab, right hook, double left front kick, and then super punch, preceded by that right knee, essentially, guys. Use the right knee, hopefully you've been doing it this whole time with me, to set that momentum going. And that's how you land, kind of like Superman, right? Oh, woman. So you have your jab, your right hook, your double left front kick, and your super punch, all right, y'all? That's it. If you don't feel comfortable, just, I mean, just try it. You don't even have to get that leap, but you can get that super punch just like that. It's basically a cross with a kick back, all right, y'all? The super part is when you add that little leap, that little hop to it. Jab, right hook, double left front kick, super punch. Jab, right hook, double left front kick, super punch. Off that right hand side, all right, y'all? Keep on working it here. You're gonna get ready in about 15 seconds to lay it on down and lift it on up. It's our leg lifts, okay? That signals the end of round number three. I know, we're halfway there. Just about, just about, not yet, all right? Keep on going, jab, right hook, double left front kick, super punch, and lay it on down, lift it on up. It's leg lift time. And that's the end of round number three, everybody. So we're halfway through our kickboxing rounds. Hope you're having as much fun and is perspiring as much as I am. I kind of doubt it though. I perspire like crazy, so. But it's that's just how I am. All right, folks, so keep it going here. 15 seconds remaining in between the rounds before we get into it with round number four. All right, folks, so hope you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel for whenever the new workouts come on up. All right, folks, those legs are going up and back down. A few more seconds, round number four in three, Two, one, cross, left up, cross, okay? Left knee, and then one, two, right front kicks, reset and repeat. Okay, cross, up, cross, left knee, and then one, two, right front kicks. Cross, left uppercut, cross, okay? Bring that left knee up. When it comes down, you're not gonna go one, you're going two, right front kicks, reset and repeat. Cross, up, cross, Left knee, double right front. Cross, up, cross, left knee, one, two, double right front. Good y'all. So here, another angle, cross, left up, cross, left knee, and then one, two, double right front kicks. All right, y'all, just over halfway through the round remaining. Cross, up, cross, left knee, double right front kick. As soon as you tap your right foot after that first one, bring it right up for that second one. Okay, guys, cross, up, cross, Left knee, double right front kick. All right, folks, good. 30 seconds remaining in the round, okay? If you wanna pick up your pace, you know you have the hollow hold coming up in between at the end of this one, so you can be on your backs, kind of just chilling, working your abs, so looking good. Cross up, cross, left knee, double right front kick. Keep those hands up too, y'all. Keep those hands up. Cross up, cross, left knee, double right front. All right, y'all, just over 10 seconds remaining in the round. Get a few more 
repetitions of that combination. Let's go ahead, lay it on down in your hollow hold in three, in two, and one. Hollow hold, y'all. That's it. End of round number four, just two more rounds remaining. I know, right? Time does fly when you are having fun. So, you're doing your hollow hold, okay? Or you're grabbing the water, toweling off, doing what you gotta do. I can't wait to towel off myself. But you only got 10 seconds remaining in between this round. So just keep it going here. Let's get ready for round number five, folks, all right? And that's gonna be happening in three, in two, and one here. Let's go, guys. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee, reset. All right, guys, so it is jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee, and back. Okay, very, very simple. Jab, jab, cross, knee, knee, and knee. Alternate it out, y'all. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee, y'all, okay? Woo! I hope you're feeling it here, guys, with those knees. Okay, and if you notice, I like to point my toes downwards when I throw my knees as well. Kind of just looks more delicate. All right, folks, getting that little twist to work your abs. You got about halfway through the round remaining, so you're going jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee, jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee, y'all. That's it, okay? And a little bit something here. After this round, Okay, oh, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. <laughs> I just, I can't wait. I can't contain my excitement for this in between the rounds. All right, guys, so keep it going. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee. Jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee. Again, be really aware of those knees because the right knee is gonna set off the Superman punch, right? Which is gonna be happening in round number six. But in the meantime, jab, jab, cross, left knee, right knee, left knee. At the end of this round, you can shadow box, folks. Yeah, no leg lifts. You can shadow box it out in three, in two, and one. Shadow box, guys, okay? Throw your knees, throw your kicks, throw your punches, have a little bit of fun. If any combinations you ever wanted to throw and try, try them, go slow and steady, making technique the most important thing that you're doing, though, with your shadow boxing time. All right, y'all, 15 seconds remaining. To do it as you're doing, I hope you guys are shadow boxing. I love to shadow box, okay? Just to refine my techniques, build that good muscle memory, you know, so when I'm really, really training and hitting a bag, I'm looking good and feeling good while doing it. All right, folks, a few more seconds in the last round in three, two, and one. Here we go, guys. Double left front kick, right up left hook, double right front kick, and the super punch to finish it off. Okay, let's break that down. Double left front kick. One, two. Okay, guys, double right uh, right uppercut, left hook, then double right front kick, and then like you're bringing up that right knee, however, you're gonna finish it with the super punch. So, double left front kick, right up left hook, double right front kick, and super punch. I like to propel myself forward sometimes with that. Okay, so, it didn't scare you guys. It is that double left front kick, right uppercut, left hook, double right front kick, and finish it with that super punch. Okay, folks, you're halfway through the round. Halfway through the round. At the end of this round, we go into our speed round. It's not optional. Okay, hopefully you guys will have enough energy to maintain yourself to get through it. But in the meantime, you're going double left front kick, right uppercut, left hook, double right front kick, finish it with that super punch. All right, folks, keep it going. Keep it moving here, we're almost there. I will let you know right now though, when we get into our speed round, it's gonna give me non-stop jab cross, okay? Prepare yourself, in, all right, prepare yourself. But in the meantime, it is double left front kick, right uppercut, left hook, double right front kick, followed by the super punch to finish it off. Let's get ready, guys. Get one or two more repetitions of that combination in, and why don't we get to our speed round, everyone? Non-stop jab cross in three, two, and one. Non-stop, guys. Okay, pump those arms. Make sure they're getting nice and straight. You're working those non-stop jabs and crosses, folks. All right, here we go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going for just a few more seconds. And then I want you all to work those double front kicks. Double left, double right. Okay, folks, keep going. Get that last non-stop jab cross sequence in. And let's bring it down to our lower half. Double front kicks in three, two, one. Double left, double right. Double left, double right. Try to add that extra chop. 
Okay, guys, burn that extra calorie. You got about 10 seconds remaining. Double left front kick, double right front kick, double left front kick, double right front kick, double left front kick, double right front kick, four, five, four, three, two, one. And done. That's it, y'all. Good job. Okay, but wait, there's more. Remove your gloves. I can finally go ahead and towel off. We have a little bit of a speed round, kinda, sorta. It's conditioning, 30 seconds a piece. We just got two minutes remaining in today's workout. So hopefully you can join me. Wow, that toweling off feels so good. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water, guys, so don't mind me, as I describe what you're doing. Okay, so last two minutes, we're gonna go left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. And then, the next 30 seconds, walking push-ups. Elbow plank, palm plank, elbow plank, palm plank. Okay, then back to the left knee, right knee, super punch. And then finish it with your walking push-ups. Real simple, everybody. So, hopefully you're standing. I'm gonna go to the side so you can see it. Left knee, right knee, super punch in three, in two, and one. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Knee, knee, super punch. Knee, knee, super punch. All right, guys? So that right knee you're doing there helps you get into that super punch. All right, folks, doesn't have to be as amazing. Okay, just try to practice it. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. All right, folks, just about five seconds remaining. And we're gonna drop it down. Elbow plank, palm plank, or palm plank, elbow plank. Just making a transition in three, in two, and one. Okay, I like to just start from the palm, go to the elbows, come up to the palm, and back to the elbows, y'all. Okay, that's it. Elbow plank, palm plank, elbow plank, palm plank. We have one, just over one minute remaining in the rest of this, today's class. Woo! I know, I'm trying to catch my breath. Okay, guys, we're gonna go left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. You got five more seconds to complete those walking push-ups. Get that last one in. Let's go ahead, stand on up. Left knee, right knee, super punch. In three, two, one, here we go. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Left knee, right knee, super punch. Here we go, y'all. Okay, knee, knee, super punch. Knee, knee, super punch. That's the rhythm I want you guys to get going. Left knee, right knee, super punch. 10 seconds remaining on the clock. And then the final 30 seconds are your walking push-ups. That's it. Hang in there, guys, with me. I know the finish line is, seems like it's far away, but not really, because we're going to those walking push-ups in three, two, one. Palm plank, elbow plank, palm plank, elbow plank, palm plank, elbow plank. You can do it, y'all. And if you still have some gas remaining in your tank and want to burn it all off, why not? It's 30 seconds of left knee, right knee super punch, and then 30 seconds of your walking push-ups. Speaking of the walking push-ups, you got about 10 seconds remaining. All right, folks, that's it. Manage it. Try not to let those hips roll. Engage your core. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You have five, four, three, two, one. But if you're going again, left knee, right knee, super punch, 30 seconds, and then 30 seconds of walking push-ups. All right, folks, thankful for each and every single one of you getting through today's workout with me. Always thankful for each and every single one of you guys. Health is wealth. Um, make sure at the very end, after this video stops playing, that you go ahead and allow yourself a good five to 10 minutes to give yourself a good cool down stretch. Okay, y'all? Well, before I let you go, let me sign off the way we always do. Three, two, one, two bangs and a clap. So all together now, three, two, one. Great job, kickboxers. I'll see you next time.